What's up, Doc? <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Austin Davis. We just got finished uh, tracking my sample pack, the Austin Davis sample pack, my sample pack. Weird to say. Anyway, uh, we just finished. Super stoked about it. Just want to do a little rig rundown, show you all the things that we tracked, all my favorite things, kind of things that I play live and in the studio. So follow me. This is kit one that we tracked. We tracked two kits for this pack. Um, the thought behind it was really like, this was the kit that I toured with and tracked and I still track with all the time, but this was kind of my mainstay kit for kind of the first decade of my career as a musician. Um, it's a very special kit to me. This Ludwig, 68 Ludwig Champagne Sparkle is actually given to me by my uncle. It's very sentimental and special to me. Favorite kit of all time. So getting to track this was really special and really fun. So yeah, let's dig into all that's going on. This is my throne, the rockin' sock. <laughs> it's very old, I've had it for maybe 15 years, but I just love it. Nothing special about that. Like I said, 68. Ludwig, I don't actually know what model it is. Someone who knows more about drums would actually be able to tell you what model it is. But um, yeah, we've got a nine by 13 rack tom and a 16 by 16 floor tom. We've got uh, coated ambassadors for this kit, um, just because I felt like that would track the best. Maybe not what I would play live, but in the studio, what I love. Um, and then for the snare, we have my Ludwig Black Beauty, six and a half by 14, kind of my mainstay snare that I've played for the last 15 years or so. Um, we actually use this in both kits um, on this uh, for the loops. So in kit one and kit two, but for kit one, we tuned it lower and then we tuned it a little more like medium high for the second kit. Um, right now it's got a controlled sound coated emperor on it. Sounds nice and crispy. Got one of these like big fat snare drum rings on it that helps kind of kill some of the overtones and stuff. And then the kick is a uh, 22 by 14 inch kick drum. And for my kick pedal, I've got a DW9000 on it. Love it, favorite kick pedal in the world. All right, now let's talk about symbols for this kit. I really wanted to use um, kind of bigger, washier, which is hilarious, actually, all of them are bigger and washier symbols, but these would be the biggest and washiest of the kits. Just overall, we've got Istanbul Agop symbols all throughout this pack, um, favorite symbols in the world. Let's go to the hi-hats. We've got the, uh, this is a pair of 18 inch crashes that I put together. On the bottom we've got, which you can't really see, is a Sultan crash, 18 inch. And then on the top we've got an OM crash, 18 inch as well. And they just sound really nice and buttery. Here we've got the 20 inch OM crash and the 24 inch OM ride as kind of the main ride for this kit. And then over here we've got the Exist 22 inch power crash. Um, yeah, beautiful symbols. And then over here, little side snare. Both of the kits we did for the loops have a side snare. So we did this little um, pearl piccolo guy, which I believe is two by 13. So a little guy with a coated ambassador on it. Sounds amazing. Um, This works. I do like a really long thing of me putting this back on here. <laughs> <laughs> Just like silently. Like. Um, oh, I should probably. Yeah. And then so sticks wise, I'm using Vader Power 5As. Yeah. Wood tips. Nothing to it. All right. Let's look at the symbols. So the rest of the symbols we've got the exist. Uh, dry, dark hi-hats, um, 17 inch. Um, these are kind of the ones that I've been touring with and playing on uh, records with for the last uh, three or so years. And these are my favorite hats in the world to play with. 
And then we've got the 24 inch Joey Warrenker ride here, uh, which I use in kit two as the main ride. Let's come over here. So this right here, we've got the Agop Signature 23 inch ride. So smooth, so buttery. Love that guy. Can't really see this one, but this is the 22 inch Mel Lewis ride, which I've toured with and played with for so many years um, as kind of my second ride slash crash. And then this is like a really fun little symbol, the 20 inch Exist Dry Dark Crash. Really explosive, dry, um, kind of use it like a china a little bit. And then these guys here, the old clap stack. I've got three of them, so like half of the extension added in, and this is what we sampled for the clap stack. All right, so let's look at some snares. We've got the Ludwig Superphonic uh, 70s era 5 by 14. Uh, we we sampled it really dumpy, super low, um, sounds massive, um, very shocking for how small it is. Then we've got the Q drum uh, Copper Gentleman, which I believe is seven by 14. Uh, amazing rock snare, super loud, nice ring, tuned up a bit. Then we've got this, what we call the Tin Man, which is a Franklin drum, aluminum snare that they made for me that's six and a half by 14. Uh, I've been taking that on the road a lot as a side snare. Uh, one of my favorite new additions. And then this one is really special. Got this in uh, a Revival Drum Shop in Portland. And it's a uh, 40s era Ludwig Pioneer model, which I think is four inches, four by 14 possibly. But yeah, another amazing side snare. I think that's the side snare that we tracked on kit number two. So anyway, and then the last bit of it is kit number two, which is my current touring uh, kit that Franklin made for me, Franklin Drums, shout out. Um, I love this kit, it's everything that I ever wanted to build. So we got mahogany shells here. Uh, we call this the Krispy Kreme finish. And the sizes are nine by 13 rack, and then 16 by 16 floor and then 16 by 18 floor tom two. And then this kick is a uh, 20 by 14 inch kick drum. So it's, it's a little bit smaller for the size of the toms, but I love that like punchy kick. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm super excited about all this, super stoked for you guys to hear it all. Um, yeah, hope you dig it.